Happy New Year. How are you? I am fine. I hope everyone had a great holiday. I did. It was very relaxing, very quiet, you know. It was nice. I uh, got this bug in me to... Um, I don't know how I got the idea. <laughs> I really don't. But I wanted to paint my friend Christina, Christine in uh, Britain, Great Britain, sent me, remember that video I did a long, long, long time ago with the fantasy moon paint, the PBO fantasy moon paint, and I was kind of complaining that it wasn't giving me the effect I thought it would. Well, that's because I bought the wrong paint. Well, she sent me, she had the right kind of paint, and she told me she'd never use it. So she sent me like six colors of the the paint I should have, I wanted, but didn't get. It was just the Prism Fantasy paint from PBO. This is a French company. Um, and I, I was cleaning something out and I found that box of paint. I never used it. And I almost forgot about it. And I found it. I thought, oh, you know what? I should try this and see and see what it does. So I thought, what what should I paint? What should I paint it on? What should I what should I do? So I'm looking around on Etsy and I found um, a laser cut person. Um, uh, what's her name? Chipmunk stamp on Etsy. And then I remembered my old friend Ed on Etsy, laser cut on Etsy, who does the same thing. He cuts these plexiglass shapes. And I mean, I did all kinds of research. I looked all over the internet. I tried to find the cheapest price. I thought, you know what, this is just too much trouble. I'll just go to Etsy and buy them. And so I did, and I got a whole bunch. They were not expensive. Ed sold me a bag of 101 inch plexiglass discs for like $22. Chipmunk Stamp had some big, she had some um, one inch too, but and then I bought some two inch round ones from her. Like this. And they're an eighth of an inch thick. I mean, they're perfect. Perfect. The perfect size. And Ed cut me some ovals. Here's laser cut engraving. Ed Maloney. Nice guy. Very nice. Very helpful. Um, he's in New Jersey. Chipmunk stamp is in Minnesota. So I get these shapes. <laughs> and I started painting them. I pulled all this paint out and I painted them and I am so thrilled with the way they came out. They're perfect. And then I thought, what? How How would I like make other designs? I wanted more like control of the lines and stuff like that. You see this, how I made these lines like this? And so I had to go back on the internet and look some more. The painter's tape was so wide, it wasn't going to give me the fine lines I wanted. And I found this stuff at dickblick.com. It's artist tape. It's an eighth of an inch wide. It's plastic, but it's got some stretch to it. And you're supposed to be able to make curves with this. I have not had any success making any curves on my things here. Um, <clears throat> but I imagine if I really practiced, I probably could. So I'm just sticking with straight lines. So how I did this was, we could all be this, the, this, this is for my friend Don. The, this is going to be for Christine. <laughs> Don, I've been promising Don to make something for a long time and Don's going to get a necklace out of these colors, so I hope you like it, Don. I do. I love it. I'll probably make one for myself. So let me get this out of the way. Just real fast. 
I painted, this is a two and a half inch disc, and I painted it with a turquoise. I love this fantasy, or what is it, prism fantasy so much that I bought another color. This is just turquoise. And it gives me that bubbly, it, it comes out different every time. You never know what you're going to get. Get this bubbly, you know, like, almost like cells, like biological amoebas or something. It's kind of cool. It's very cool, actually. So, and you wait for your first coat to dry. I just dumped the paint on there and smeared it around and gave this. You have to give it, to really cure, you've got to give it a couple days. You really do. It's It stays soft for quite a while. I think it's an oil-based paint. And that stuff takes a while to dry. And then I took tape find the end and I just started making lines I'll go in a little bit started making lines on it just in a you know not a planned pattern just kind of architectural a little a little super abstract Kind of industrial, you know, nothing, <laughs> nothing super artistic, <laughs> nothing really like that. And I turn it around here and add some more here, maybe. Make sure it's pressed down really well. And another one here. And it just pulls apart. Don't even have to cut it. I have cut it. I have used scissors. Let's see, I put one here. How should I do this? I might need the scissors. And here, like this. And my scissors. We're just here a second ago. I don't want it all the way across. I just want it overlapping that one line there. Make sure everything's pressed down real well. <coughs> Where else should I put something? Maybe here. Come on now. There. And I imagine if I wanted to really fool around with this, which I plan to do by the way, I'm going to get some painter's tape and really do some blocking, color blocking, color layering, because <laughs> I really like this. It's a lot of fun. Um, and you come up with some beautiful designs. And next week I'll show you what I beaded using these discs. And like you know, if you've been watching me for any length of time, I love making my own components. I get a whole lot of pleasure out of that. So when you get all your tape stuck on there, I'll take the paint ugh, ugh, open. Stir this stuff really well. This is the bubbly kind, just the prism fantasy. And this is a, what is color is this? English red. Great color. I hope you like this, Christine. I do. Why don't you stir it up? You want to just blob it on there. Just blow, blow, blow. In a couple spots so you can smear it around. Hopefully I got enough on there. Start smearing. 
smear, smearing, smearing. I'm going to need more. Not enough. Get your edges pretty good. A little weak spot. I don't know how level this table is. Probably not very. Get in there. Okay. Oh my god, my timer. When you got it all painted, remove this stuff. This one. The top coat. Oh, God. I need a drink. Okay. The top coat, you don't want to cure all the way. You want to make sure it's still kind of kind of tacky and sticky. This one I painted this morning. So it's been sitting for several hours. <coughs> but it's still sticky. It's still kind of tacky. You can feel it with your finger. Kind of rubbery. You know you can mar it if you stick your nail in it or something. You just want to start peeling the paint, the tape off. Let's see what we get, the big reveal. <laughs> yeah. Take your time. What I'm worried about is if I let it cure completely, that the tape won't come off. This is a very strong paint. I'm afraid it'll just rip the, the tape and you'll never, never get it to peel off. It's very thick and um, very viscous is the word I'm looking for. Come, come here. <laughs> and there you go. I would sit and let this completely cure now, and then I'd be ready to, to beat it, or apply it, or whatever. Um, I like this technique a lot. Like I said, next week, I will be back to show you a beading project I made with my very own components that I made with my very own hands. <coughs> Super easy. <coughs> very interesting. A lot of fun. If you can get a curve out of this, that would be even better. Like I said, I really want to try more color blocking with this. It's a raised... Another thing I noticed in this one... I used a very dark color in the base and then a pale color, shell color on the top and the dark color bled a little bit into the white. It's not, 
it's not the shell white that I should have. It's more of a yellow because the red just kind of seeped up into the white. So, I mean, it's okay. I don't mind it. It's still pretty, but it's not exactly what I wanted. Um, I would suggest using lighter colors on your base coat. Uh, or not. Doesn't matter. You can do it any way you want. That was just a problem I seem to have had. This one, I mixed a little bit of white in with that English red. It's a, the, I didn't bring all the paint in here. It's, it's not white, it's like a shell color. It's real pretty. So I wanted a paler pink. Worked out really nice. See all those little, <laughs> looks like veins with blood going through them. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> I can't lie. And so I'll, I'll beat these. I'll show you next week. Uh, do you make any resolutions? I don't make resolutions. I don't do that. I kind of make up my mind to do things all during the year. <laughs> I don't make any special <clears throat> special things, but I do kind of reflect and I'm going to try to be nicer. <sighs> try to be more patient with people. Try to be more tolerant with the stupid idiots we have in this world. But I, it's very difficult for me. Like I'm perfect. Not. At least I admit it. I don't try to pretend I am. And um, yeah, and I got a phone. So, like, I know I was going to try to be a little more social, uh, turn into a recluse past few years. <laughs> so I'm just busy. So I try to be more social. Uh, if you want to call me, you can call me, leave a message. I'll try to do contests with this. I was going to try to do one today, and I just, I didn't think of anything. But <laughs> eventually I will. So call me and leave me a message. It's 248 726 1078 and I will play the messages on my videos if you have something funny to say if you're a bill collector I will not call you back and yeah that's it <laughs> just trying to be more social and not so much of a recluse I sorry it's just I'm just busy and <sighs> I don't mean to be Sam. so that's it uh, uh, if you want any of these beautiful, fun shapes, and he can make shapes for you. They can, if you send, if you tell him what you want. I just told him I wanted a, a two and a, two and a half inch by one and a half inch oval, and he cut them for me. I, mean, I think he gave me like eight for seven or eight dollars. I forget. I don't remember. It was very inexpensive. Uh, chipmunk. What is her name again? Chipmunk Stamp. <laughs> Chipmunk Stamp. Sent me 12 two-inch discs for five bucks. Like I said, the, the Ed made, Laser Cut Ed made uh, 100 of these little one-inch ones for 22 bucks. And then he made me some, these two and a half inch ones for, crap, I forget <laughs> how much. <laughs> It was like eight dollars. It was maybe twenty of these for maybe it's twelve dollars. I forget. They're very inexpensive and a lot of fun. So if you have a shape, maybe a letter or I don't know anything. You get the idea. So whenever I think of more things to do with this technique, I will definitely show it to you. I have to go. I have to go. My timer went off in my oven, which I'm trying to clean without much success. If you ever, I have this old oven, and I, ha I live in this terrible little place with a smoke detector that won't let me cook anything. I, I, I can't use a broiler. I can't use the oven cleaner. There's a, the oven has a cleaning function I can't use because it sets off the smoke detector. I can't, I can't use the oven above 400 degrees. It's just stupid. So, anyway, I have to try to finish this and uh, get back to beating. So, thanks for watching. Share if you wish. I don't care. Make your own. I don't care. And 
so happy and inspired. Bye!